So don't worry, she's not like Blue, she is a little bit less aggressive than she is. And she's accepting pets today, so if you'd like, you can give her a little pet under her chin. Just be very gentle and be very slow as you move around here. You know how... Oh my gosh, that's a wonderful dinosaur sound! Wow! Now, velociraptors are apex predators, but when they're babies, they can easily become the prey of a bigger, oh hungrier gosh, dinosaur, so she does have some negative reactions from time to time. She is going to have maybe some aggressive behavior, but that's okay. Part of the reason we're bringing her out today is to make her feel more comfortable around human beings and to desensitize and acclimate her to all of those different sights and sounds. Girl. Now, I'm looking for a volunteer. Is that, oh, your hand was up before I could even finish that. What's your name? Sophia. Let's have a round of applause for Sophia. She's going to volunteer and help us today. Now, Sophia, can you take your fist and point it right at Tango's face? Now, as loud as you can, Sophia, I want you to say, Tango, focus. Tango, focus. Good job, Sophia. Now, what I would like you to do is move that fist around through space, left and right, maybe up and down a little bit. Good job. Now, this is a mirroring exercise. It shows us that Tango is able to take training from people other than just her primary handler. Okay, Sophia, what I want you to do, point right at her face, open your hand, and command her to speak. Speak. Good girl. Let's have a round of applause for Tango and for Sophia. Good job. Now, folks, if you are just joining us, this is a baby velociraptor. It's actually a really rare time in her life right now. She weighs about 40 pounds, we are estimating. When she's fully grown, she is going to weigh well over 100, well, over 1,000 pounds. By this time next month, she should weigh over 100 pounds. It's better if you like. Now, she is in a pretty good mood right now. I did feed her a big meal right before we came out. So she has a pretty full stomach. Now, even if she wanted to bite somebody right now, it wouldn't be because she's hungry. In fact, she doesn't see human beings as a source of food. Now, even though she doesn't see us as a source of food, she smells us as a source of food. You see, our bodies contain taurine, which is an essential amino acid. Whoa, careful. Try under, under her chin. She can get a little aggressive when we come in from above. Now, even though velociraptors are apex predators, when they're babies, they can easily become the prey of a bigger, hungrier dinosaur. So because of that, she does have some alerting tactics. Now, the dinosaurs who would hunt a baby velociraptor would be pterodons, pterodactyls, things like that. They would always approach her from above, so it's always a good idea when we are interacting with our dino to give her pets from below if you'd like to approach her. It's okay, buddy. You want to give her a little pet? Hey, there you go. Good job.